What time?
spirit of prayer. Wise, gentle, and loving God, we approach you on this very special day with mixed feelings of thanksgiving, gratitude, anticipation, and concern for the future. We thank you for these years who this day pass over a critical threshold in their lives. We're grateful to share in your joy and enthusiasm for the privilege of being part of their lives for this celebration. We're grateful for their parents, teachers, and school officials who have helped to usher them to this point in their lives. Enlivened them with a hunger for greater learning, a mighty concern for other persons and for your creation, and in time a full appreciation for the opportunities that are given to them. With each new experience in life, there is anxiety, concern, even fear, because we cannot bear the see to this future. Let not this fear disable them. Rather, let it be a challenge to them to go beyond where they have been and achieve where we may have lost courage. Knowing that each of these lives is precious in your sight, O God, by your grace, we pray that you may be a man and let it go of your heart. Amen. Thank you, Randy, for the budget witness.
Freedom is not an illusion. Flip is over for congruency. Man is a radically free being, faced with choices he often does not realize he has. Although we enjoy our nearly limitless freedom, too often we are fettered by it, fearing to make so many decisions. We may refrain from striking out in a novel direction for fear of reduce from our fears, or we may let others decide for us. Yet each choice we make serves to further define us, and the choice not to choose is one of the most telling that we can make. Man does have limitations. Our heredity and our physical being are things over which we have relatively little control. However, we are completely free to react to these things in any way that we wish. For example, we may be unusually tall. This we cannot change. Yet there are a myriad of ways in which we may view our height. We may view it as a burden and, as a result, feel awkward. Or we may view it as an advantage for modeling or for playing basketball. Some of us may simply choose to appreciate our height. Thus, I do not believe that we are born with specific strengths and weaknesses. Rather, I feel that we are born with a range of possibilities. Our freedom enables us to foster or to inhibit the development of these possibilities. Therefore, we are capable of choosing to become almost anything. Consider the dangers of failing to choose. By not choosing, we leave our definition to chance. By letting others decide, we become what they would like us to be. Either way, we would be living in the guise of a false self, one not consistent with who we really are. I am not here to preach to you, or to tell you that the decisions I have made are right for you. They probably are not. We must all make our own decisions. And while these choices may sometimes seem overwhelming and frightening, they are essential if we are to retain control over our definition. For freedom, perhaps even more than death or taxes, is an inevitable component of man's existence. Before presenting the class gift, I'd like to take just a moment to remind my classmates that regardless of whether we've been through all 12 years of high school together, or if only shared memories or two. We will always be born high school class of 1990. Though each of us has changed over the years, one thing that hasn't is the closeness of our class. Although we are all leaving today to go our separate ways, live our lives, and expand our horizons, remember the importance of the friendships we develop and keep in touch. Peace and good luck. I'd like to announce that an aerial photograph of one high school, complete with the addition, plus money towards the purchase of a new trophy case for the boy of the new auditorium, are the gifts of the class of 1990, one high school. Eventually, our tightrope walker reaches the wire. 
At this point, only concentration and balance can keep him there. This is much like our quest for success in life. First of all, it is never easy. Just like the tightrope walker, we must each strive to reach the top of our own ladder, rung by rung. And regardless of what ladder we are climbing, we must have balance to succeed. Once we have achieved success, our courage continues to serve us. However, balance and concentration must be added if we are to retain the success. This is no different than our type of walking. Yet life is very unlike a surface. There isn't always a net to catch us if we should fall. And unlike the type of walker, we are not given the opportunity to practice on the same rope. The ropes which we face can change from day to day. Thus, balance becomes crucial. If we have courage and perseverance, we have the potential to succeed. With balance, we have the ability to retain that success. Felt on your neck, rolling down your spine. Internal convulsion, march towards the hour. Anxious and apprehensive pass in the back. Stand by, fingers grasped, all that there is to be grasped. White robe, cloak and carry. Anticipating. Windex for this day to march. This year, due to the late ending four seasons, we are unable to present two athletic awards at memory night where we can only present them. But because they are distinguished honors, we want to give recognition here today at the graduation ceremony. The these students should please come to the stage when called and receive their trophy. The 1990 Sportswoman of the Year Award goes to Shelley Peck. $750. 
Richard A. Haskell Memorial Scholarship, $200. L.G. Belfour Farm de Beau Outstanding Senior Boy Award, $100. And a Commonwealth Scholarship, amount could be determined, totaling $2,150, Robert Powers. Four men's volleyball scholarship in the amount of $300. And the Frederick J. Dunbury Jr. Memorial Scholarship, $250, totaling $550, William Sullivan. The Board of Recreation Authority to hear Memorial Scholarship, $500. And the People's Chapter National Honor Society Scholarship, the amount of $500, totaling $1,000, Tara Shinola. Waldo Lumpen Memorial Scholarship by the Professional Firefighters of Born, in the amount of $500. Born Men's Volleyball League Scholarship, $300. The Friends of Born High School Scholarship, $400. The Harry M. Fonts Trust Scholarship, $1,000 Renewal Scholarship. And the Apexic Garden Club Scholarship, $500. And the Monument Beach Civic Association Scholarship, $200. Totaling $2,900. The recipient is Lori Perry. <laughs> the Wellesley College Grant in the amount of $10,000. A state scholarship, $5,000. The LG Belfour Farm Bill Outstanding Girl Award, $100. Foreign Educators Association Scholarship, $800. The Friends of Foreign High School Alumni Scholarship, $400. Dr. Abraham Krakow Memorial Scholarship, $350. St. Margaret's Church Scholarship, $200. Wareham Lodge of Health's number 1548 scholarship in the amount of $500. And a Commonwealth Scholar in the amount of $1,000, totaling $18,350 to Eva Kardashian. <laughs> Scholarship, the amount of $500 to Scott Bloomfield. The Eagles Chapter National Honor Society Scholarship, $500. The Old Colony Union Women's Club of Born Scholarship, the amount of $600. The Teamsters Union Local Number 59 Scholarship, the amount of $1,000. Totaling $3,100 to Shelly Peck. Harry and Pumps Trust Scholarship, a $1,000 renewable scholarship. The Cape Cod Bank and Trust Scholarship, $1,000. And the Department Civic Associates Scholarship, $250, totaling $2,250 to Melissa Shaw. <laughs> the Wyoming University Grant, $2,500. The Wyoming University Music Scholarship, $1,200 renewable. The Born Band Boosters Organization Scholarship, $150. And the Clara Louise Handy Fine Arts Award, the amount of $25, totaling $3,875 to John Sibyl. <laughs> the University of New Hampshire grant, the $2,600. Nickerson Born Funeral Home Scholarship, the amount of $500. A Born Parent Teachers Association Scholarship, the amount of $500. And a Commonwealth Scholarship, the amount of $1,000 totaling $4,600 to Christina Washington. Four high school alumni scholarship in the amount of $500 to Troy Parks. A leadership academy grant in the amount of $8,000 to William Johnson. Four recognition authority to hear a memorial scholarship for $500. Born Wareham Art Association, Mary Fuller Scholarship in the amount of $100. And a Helen B. Dagger Scholarship in the amount of $500, totaling $1,100 to Anne Marie Joseph. <laughs> a University of Hartford grant in the amount of $7,500 is awarded to Christopher Adama. Waldo Lumpet Memorial Scholarship by the Professional Firefighters of Born in the amount of $500. And the Born High School Alumni Incorporated Scholarship in the amount of $500, totaling $1,000 to Amy Laterna. Amy Laterna Art Scholarship in the amount of 
$200. A Jerry and Lonnie Art Scholarship in the amount of $200. A Harry A. and Irene M. Walker Dress Scholarship in the amount of $200. Women's Bill of St. John Evangelist Parish of Procasset, $600. And a Wareham Lodge of Elks number 1548 scholarship in the amount of $200, totaling $1,400 to Trina Peterson. Board of Recreation Authority to hear memorial scholarship in the amount of $500 to Karen Moore. <laughs> Board of Van Boosters Organization Scholarship, $150. The Billy Badgers Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $400. And a QC Instrumental Music Award in the amount of $100, totaling $650 to Christopher Baker. A state scholarship in the amount of $700, and the Great Gables Association scholarship in the amount of $250, totaling $950 to Christine Clay. A Columbia University grant in the amount of $10,500 to Tracy Peak. A William Roger Belts, number 1548 scholarship in the amount of $300. Richard Ford High School Alumni Incorporated Scholarship in the amount of $500, totaling $900 to Jennifer Gardner. <laughs> the Orange Coleman's Association Local 373 Scholarship, $500. And the Lois M. Fuller Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $400, totaling $900 to Ted Gould. <laughs> Old Colony Union Women's Club Born Scholarship amount of $600 to Cheryl Matthews. Cape Cod Community College Scholarship in the amount of $500 to James Horton. Benjamin S. Harrison Scholarship, $1,000. Sandwich Fox and Crafts Association Incorporated Scholarship, $250. And the Born Wearing and Art Association Jerry Lyons Scholarship for $100 totaling $1,350 to Michael Wiley. Sandwich American Legion Post, 188 scholarship, $250. The Knights of Columbus Bishop Fian Council scholarship, $500, totaling $750, Julie Pacheco. The Board of Educators Association scholarship for $800. Conic Civic Associate Scholarship, $250. Alliance Middle School Scholarship, $200. Totaling $1,250 to Kathleen Butler. <laughs> the Volleyball League Scholarship, $300. And the Pleasant Bay Civic Association Scholarship, in the amount of $400. Totaling $700, Stephen Wenzel. Benjamin S. Harrison Scholarship, $1,000 to Lisa Mooney. <laughs> Born, ben Born Baseball Bullpen Club Scholarship for $100. And the Joseph and Alvina Libretto Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $700, totaling $800 to Bruce Gender. <laughs> the Manning Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $250 to Kristen Collins. Brian University grant for $4,000 to Brian Whitman. A music scholarship for the memory of Thelma A. Cabell in the amount of $100. Family of Chesterfield and Hall scholarship for $250, totaling $350 to Lisa Gallimine. Cape Cod Newspapers scholarship $100 to Brendan Chief. Maria College Grant for $7,900. Foreign Educators Association Scholarship in the amount of $800. Foreign Men's Volleyball League Scholarship for $300. The Harriet and Alphonse Trust Scholarship for $1,000 renewal. And St. Margaret and St. Mary Women's Field Scholarship for $200. Totaling $10,200 to Anne Marie Souza. Warren High School Alumni Scholarship, $500. And Cape Cod Nurses Association Scholarship, 
$700, totaling $1,200 to Jody Lyman. Born Lions Club Scholarship, $400. The Robert T. and Laura Crump Award, $150, totaling $550 to Keith Audette. The Jay Drugstore Award Scholarship, $200 to Catherine Burke. Boston Rose Scholarship, $1,200. The St. Margaret's Church Scholarship, $200, totaling $1,400 to Matthew Cleary. <laughs> the Fraternal Order of Eagles Auxiliary, number 3741 scholarship, in the amount of $250 to James Sherman. <laughs> An Endicott College grant in the amount of $2,500. A state scholarship in the amount of $2,200. The Harry M. Fonz Trust Scholarship, $1,000 renewable and the Fraternal Order of Eagles Scholarship, $250, totaling $5,950 to Keenan Cousy. Born Recreation Authority, the Bay Memorial Scholarship, $500. Born Pittston Club Scholarship, $200. And the Wareham Lodge Adults, number 1548 Scholarship, $200, totaling $900, Robert Marceau. National Junior College Athletic Scholarship, $900. A Born Men's Volleyball League Scholarship, $300. And a scholarship in memory of Blanche Savage, $1,000. Totally $2,200. Daniel Savage. Yeah. 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 Scholarship, $150. And a Urine Scholarship, $1,500. Totally $1,650. To Jennifer Gibbs. $900, Jeremy Ellis. John Patrick Maloney Memorial Scholarship, $100. Fraternal Order of Eagles Auxiliary, 3741 Scholarship, $250. The WCOD Scholarship, $200, totaling $550, Carrie Ann Reardon. Five Canal Region Chamber of Commerce Scholarships in the amount of $500, Ronald Fusnango. <laughs> St. John Evangelist Bingo Group Scholarship in the amount of $800, Brian Fallon. Yeah! Yeah! The Board of Art Association, Harold Spooner Scholarship, $200. The Artesians Club of Cape Cod Scholarship, $500. Bill H. Burgess Jr. Memorial Scholarship, $300. Gene LaFlemme Art Scholarship, in the amount of $200. And the Sandwich Arts and Crafts Scholarship, $250. Totally $1,450. Andrea Che. The Valentine Memorial Scholarship, in the amount of $100. To Jamie Doucette. Worcester Polytech Institute Scholarship for $6,730, a state scholarship for $2,200, a Boston Globe Scholarship in the amount of $5,000, totaling $13,930 to Matthew Law. <laughs> World Olympic Memorial Scholarship by the Professional Firefighters of Born, amount of $500 to Tara Whitman. The total amount of scholarships and awards that I have just read presented to the Bourne High School graduating class of 1990, $150,305. This figure $86,000 greater than scholarship money given to the class of 1989. <laughs> <laughs>
invited guests, parents, friends, and members of the class of 1990. It's that heat day, and I listened to the fine speeches given by the members of your class. I couldn't help but think that what you hear today is so much about young people. But fine examples these are of the, of the fine young men and women who are graduating from my high school today. They really had a wonderful message, and a wonderful message for their fellow classes. On behalf of the faculty members, administration and staff of Bourne High School, and the members of the staff and administration of Bourne Schools, it is my pleasure to superintendent of schools, present to Mrs. Harrington, and of the school committee. The class of 1990, prepared and ready to become graduates of Bourne High School. Thank you very much. Reverend Dr. William Sissel from the Board of Common United Methodist Church. <laughs> Dr. Gail Rowe, Assistant Superintendent of School. <laughs> Mr. Al Polyevsky from the Board of School Committee. <laughs> Mr. Paula Schuck from the Board of School Committee. <laughs> Mrs. Peter Harrington, Chairman of the Board of School Committee. Maria Oliva, select Mr. Robert Clarity, select him. And Dr. John Ryan, superintendent of schools. We are very aware of the challenges you seniors have faced over the past 12 years, both in the classroom and on the athletic field. You will always remember this day as one of the important milestones in your life, and it is with great pride that we salute you. We also salute all the parents and grandparents who have seen you through by supporting your educational process over the last 17 or 18 years. They too deserve congratulations for a job well done. And finally, in closing, you probably often heard it said that to get, to get anywhere today, you have to know somebody. I think that's absolutely true. But I don't believe it's because you know the people in high places. Rather, the most important person to know the one who will make the difference for you time and again is yourself. If you get to know yourself well and respect who you are regardless of your position, that alone will open more doors for you than anything else. So, as you walk ahead into your future, goodbye and good luck.
Ryan C. Mark. Heather M. Ryan. Richard C. Rodonis. Anne-Marie Caroline Papanito. Jason Edward Ondai. Sarah Elaine Anderson. Henry Hall.
Lisa Ann Grindel. Stephen K. Stowe. Jennifer A. Wagner. Ted A. Michael E. 
By your benevolent spirit, O God, send us forth with your guiding hand. Walk and safeguard these new graduates. Give them judgment beyond their years, wisdom beyond their knowledge, and the joy that comes from the hopes of life. And may we ever be sensitive in all of us to your presence in our lives and in our world. And now, with the grace and peace of the love of God, be with you always. Amen. Amen.